Hey G-Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, I have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand, and basically what this is is combination lock. So there's like regular locks where you guys can actually uh, just put the keys in just like this. And then there are locks like these where it actually has the option to put a combination on here. There are some of them that has like three combinations like this one. And then there's some that has like four combination. And the reason why I got the combination lock is because it's a lot easier to use. So that way you don't have to bring a key with you guys everywhere. Especially if you guys are going to the gym or something and they have like shower room. You guys don't want to carry a key with you guys everywhere. So if you guys have one of these, then just lock it into your lockers. And then you guys don't have to bring a key with you guys. You just need to remember the combination. And nowadays they actually have a lot of different like combination locks, regular locks that are waterproof or water resistant. And the one that I got right here is also waterproof or water resistant as well. And if you guys look like me and you guys are like super old school, you probably remember like the old master locks like these. I used to use those back then when I was at school as well. And those were like the OG lockers, which are super cool. But honestly, nowadays I do prefer getting one of these because it's so much easier to use and it is waterproof or water resistant as well. But since we have this lock right here, let's talk about this lock first. So the one that we have right here, I actually unboxed it already and I've been using it for quite some time now. So I don't really have the actual packaging itself, but the package itself came like the instruction manual to teach you guys how to set up and how to use it, how to change the combination and everything. So when you guys first get the lock itself, it's usually like 000, zero, zero combination. And then you guys have to adjust it yourself to a different number. So that way it's not zero, zero and people can open it instantly. All right, so here we have the lock right here. If you guys open it up, you guys can turn it this way, push it down, and turn it this way. Then you can change the combination to whatever you guys want. So if I change it to 000, right there, I can turn it back, pull it back up, and that's our new combination. So if I use a different combination, it won't open, you guys can see. But if I turn it back to zero, you guys can see that it works. So that's basically how you guys uh, change the combination on the lock itself. So it is pretty easy to use. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself on how to actually use it. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So like I mentioned, I've actually been using these for quite some time at the gyms and everything. And this has actually been like super, super useful and super helpful just to keep stuff like secured, which is pretty awesome. But definitely, like I mentioned, the coolest thing about using these combo locks is the fact that you guys don't need to carry a key with you guys. Uh, that way, you can just remember the combination and just use it anywhere. Especially for people who go to the gym and they want to use a shower. This way you guys don't have to carry the key with you guys. And also feel like this is actually super helpful for kids and stuff. Since school is almost starting again, kids probably want to get their own locks and everything. So this is definitely a good lock to get. Or you can get like other locks that I mentioned as well. It just depends on you guys at the end of the day on which one you guys prefer to use. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have since one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for unboxing and testing the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. It'll definitely help this video and channel out. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.